Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about Black Cat and by end of the video, hopefully, I will how manage to make Black Cat into a very simple yet effective champion that is an actual amazing problem solver. You see, I do think that Black Cat out of every single champion might have been the one that suffered most from kind of like over hyping the damage and oh my god look at all these records that she can do and so on and so forth and very few people actually paid attention and focused on why would you want to use black cat what problem fights does she sort out and what's the most efficient way to play the black cat because on paper when you read her abilities i'm going to show how many people think black cat has to be played and this is not it in vast vast majority of the situations this is pretty much what you don't want to do. Everybody thinks that you do want to get in your intercepts as often as you can, then spam your heavy attacks in order to switch that calling card X amount of times and then build up your combo meter to infinity and that definitely improves your damage, right? Right, damage is going to be so much better if we amp up the combo meter to infinity and beyond and then make sure that we have our damage kind of like bleed viciousness phase and uh drop our level twos whilst the card is on the right opponent and all of that's really just bullshit and as soon as i started thinking of it as bullshit black Cat became a lot more powerful champion so what i'm showing right now is how a lot of people think that you should play black cat and fair enough there will be some fights where probably this is the best way but in Pretty much none of the circumstances that I use Black Cat, I ever try to do this, where I punish opponents' special attacks with heavies and stuff like that, make sure that, you know, the calling card is exchanged, and we can see that unless you can still pause those bleed debuffs, the damage is still not really kind of there, because you do need some abilities that you are trying to prevent if you want to have that, you know, huge, huge, huge access to those big numbers, and... I'm basically doing the same thing and we're going to manage to get our combo meter in this fight all the way up to like what 450 sweet 454 in reality it was 143 hits 2 minutes and 22 seconds what you want to play black cat is just a basic get to level 2 drop a level 2 champion the only thing in vast majority of the cases that you want to pay attention is that you get your calling card back and that means that you punish one heavy attack or perform one intercept or punish one special attack that's it you want to get card on yourself in majority of the fights where you're going to be using black cat because that is going to put that sabotage debuff on the opponent if the card is on the opponent then you kind of get more potent bleeds but in most cases where you're going to be using black cat you want this debuff active therefore you do want to basically make sure that you get your calling card back um, that's it and other than that it's just build up to level two so in this fight as we can see i'm basically doing none of the stuff that i did before and because of it because it takes more time to try and heavy spam and stuff like that the fight duration is going to be barely any different uh, now, here I did purposely put the card back on the Winter Soldier in order to access a bit more potent bleeds because in this fight, you know, none of the Black Cat's utility is important. But in general, you just want to have the card on yourself and go and spam against that Winter Soldier. Oh, sorry, and go and spam that level 2. And here we can see that, yeah, it is going to be slower, but it's also going to be way, way more straightforward. And in reality, you know, there isn't that big of a difference. It is slower, of course it is, but this is not when you want to use Black Cat. So when do you want to use Black Cat? Well, we're going to be showing... Oh, this is the bit that I recorded to kind of like advertise. Yeah, Black Cat can do some crazy things against Labyrinth Helpfuls. But, you know, as cool as it is, you're not doing Labyrinth every day. And you can have better champions for Labyrinth. And you definitely do not need to rank up Black Cat for that. But it is kind of cool to get up to those 20 bleeds. And we can see that uh, Red Hulk is... Is dying and and this should have been a, a very small footnote into what black cat can do uh, rather than the main selling point is like oh my god i can take down realm of Le labyrinth of legends red hulk in a minute something like that it's like cool but that does not a good champion make so you can see tons of bleeds tons of fun stuff but doesn't matter why black cat is amazing champion well we're gonna start with 
right, we're going to be basically focusing on matchups that uh, are giving problems to people in Battlegrounds. A lot of problem champions, let's say, in Battlegrounds. And here I'm using 3-star, later I'm going to be using 4-star as well, but uh, that block damage just looks absolutely massive in Battlegrounds, for instance, you wouldn't be taking as much damage on block. Now, the reason why Black Cat is amazing against Nick Fury is actually very simple here. That's because Nick Fury has a chance to gain his tactical charges on every single hit. That means on every single hit, Black Cat uh, has a chance to pause her bleeds. And if she has her sabotage debuff active, then she will pause her bleeds on every single hit. And Nick Fury will not gain any tactical charges, so he's not going to go unblockable. And we can see that the damage is kind of building up. Black Cat is one of the faster ways how to deal with Nick Furies. In a typical Battlegrounds kind of like matchup, it takes about two level twos basically to get down that fight. You build up to your first level two, you drop it, and then you start building up to your second level two. At some point there, Nick Fury enters his second life, if both Black Cat and Nick Fury are at the same rank level. And then you drop another level two, which you have nearly reached by the time he enters in second level. And uh, that's it. And so here we're going to see again, three star black at 2000 uh, PI absolutely nuke down that Nick Fury. Every time you prevent any opponent's abilities with that sabotage debuff up, you do also burst of damage. And here we can see that the Nick is completely rinsed with black cat perfectly without doing any fun fire. We just basically build up to level two and drop our level two. Another perfect pretty much matchup for black Black Cat is Rintra because Rintra has a chance to gain his myth mythical charges on hit. So when you use Black Cat, you have something to try and prevent. You can see that ability failed. Only thing you need to make sure is that he never reaches 10. So initially you do want to kind of drop in a couple of heavy attacks until you reach your first level two. And that's just about it. So as long as you can keep it below 10 here i'm kind of risking it I activated on 9 but it's all good and at this point every time we hit rintra our bleeds will be paused our sabotage debuff is going to be paused and we're going to see that all that bleed damage is going to be accumulating extremely extremely nicely i'm going to be trying to build up to another level 2 to kind of go for some bigger bleeds again with a bigger combo hopefully we can do you know even more damage but uh, that Rinter is getting absolutely destroyed. And that is a rank 4 Rinter, by the way, <laughs> against a 4-star rank 4 Black Cat, 4-star rank 3 Black Cat, I don't even know, to be honest. But uh, we can see that we're constantly failing all those abilities. Unfortunately, we didn't crit too much there, so we still didn't manage to stack too many bleeds. But all the persistent damage is definitely adding up. Now, at this point, I did lose my Sabotage debuff, but I still have a chance to make his abilities fail, which is pretty much all that we need here and yeah that Rintra is just getting absolutely nuked so here i'm just going to go in for a fill and obviously in battlegrounds this is even a like quicker matchup another interesting matchup is against hulkling for instance hulkling every time you hit him if he has he his shape ship charges has a chance to activate that regen activate that industry indestructibility all that other stuff and Black Cat is one of the best Hulkling non-Mystic counters. Obviously, there are Mystic champions that will kill Hulkling even faster. That absolutely cheese that fight. But Black Cat is an absolute machine of destruction against Hulkling, for instance, in Battlegrounds. Especially if you do not have better Mystic option available to you in your draft. You're going to see that now, every time we hit him, he's going to be taking burst damage. We're going to be pausing our bleeds. His indestructible is not going to be activating. And uh, it's perfect. It's, there's not much else to say. It's pretty much perfect. We have 14 bleeds. I'm here just casually going for my level 1. And that's it. That's one quickly dead Hulkling in sub minute. That's a rank 3 Hulkling against a uh, 4-star something. Uh, Black Cat. Another champion definitely is Killmonger. Now here I did make a mistake. I should have uh, just went for it. Because every time you strike Killmonger, if Reverb is active, again, you have a chance to fail that. And even though Killmonger does have crit resistance, eventually you do kind of get through it. Occasionally you do happen to crit against Killmonger, and that's kind of like all that's needed pretty much. So here I just go in for my level 2. Sweet. And 
come on for a non-armor break champion black Knight is definitely going to be doing amazing job against killmonger now we can see that i'm getting some bleeds in there i'm dealing burst damage i'm not taking reverb damage back i'm not activating reverb in the first place at all consistent ability fails so on every hit we are doing that burst amounts of damage which is quite sweet you can hit his block as well uh, because that also is meant to activate reverb so you can just keep hitting his block and uh, here we're going to be going for a level two as well get some more bleeds and look at that killmonger absolutely melt this is a quite a high sig i think it's sig 140 sig 160 killmonger now unfortunately there at the end my sabotage or whatever the debuff is called kind of did fall off but at that point the fight's pretty much over i still had 60 percent chance to fail his abilities and killmonger is nuked and another champion and this is not ideal matchup but i wanted to show it also against a couple of bleed immune matchups this is definitely not ideal matchup and keep in mind when we're going to be taking poison damage here we're going to be taking much 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 more poison damage than we would from one poison in battleground situations because in battlegrounds they have 300 percent increased attack and only sorry 100 percent increased attack and 300 percent increased health so we wouldn't be losing as much health from a single poison if anything we should barely be losing any health from a single poison but because of the sabotage debuff every time we strike every single time we strike man thing we are failing one of his abilities especially when we have a buff active and with that even though we do not have access to bleed we are just absolutely nuking down into the poor guy and uh even just with this kind of like burst amount of damage you can use black cat to nuke down plenty of champions here we can see that uh he can't nullify those postules because he does have 100 percent reduced ability accuracy whilst we are striking him so there's not much he can do i'm just kind of casually going there for level one each of level one hits also inflict burst damage it's quite sweet and uh, we are just digging in that man thing there as well so we did lose some health but she's definitely kind of decent counter to man thing for instance in a pinch this is going to be quite decently interesting as well obviously thing you probably some of you have seen black cat against things so yes again you do lose all your bleed damage however thanks to ability accuracy reduction thanks to the bleeds and uh, thanks to that sabotage debuff later on or what is, whatever is it called uh, he's basically never going to be gaining any charges or not enough anyways and you don't really have to ever worry about managing those charges so you just build up to level two make sure that the card is on you and then drop that level two and you're going to see that every hit again is going to be inflicting fairly sizable amount of burst damage you're going to be bypassing the protection which is sweet and you can just completely turn into that thing and even with your primary damage source being kind of disabled you can turn this into a super fast fight especially thanks to your multi-hit combos single combo is like seven hits and uh, also your multi-hit special attack so very quick and effective thing kill with black cat for instance and moving on this is also kind of a fairly interesting super scroll i know that some people hate fighting super scroll but black cat again for a non-mystic champion can make it kind of easy so here we built him up to four armor ups i purposely kind of didn't want to give him that power gain here first i want to bait out that level one which is fine and now we have triggered that power gain uh, which is again a, there is a little bit of a trick here involved because i will want to make sure that when i drop my level two he doesn't have his cosmic overload power mode active i think i well we did mess up here slightly but here at this point when i threw my level two i wanted to make sure that he had none of his buffs there active and i do that for a very simple reason because i want to make sure that every time i hit him there would be a buff that triggers but doesn't because of me and now at this point we can just start laying in him there is nothing else to it he can't gain any buffs we can hit his block it's still going to pause our debuff and uh, it is still going to pause our bleeds and it's still going to do the damage and we can see that super scroll doesn't gain any buffs here sweet again just casually hit his block a few times he still takes damage all the bleeds get paused and even though i did get horrible rng with my level two 
the super skull pretty much melts down. And the last fight, last fight, I think not many people would realize how how good Black Cat is for this fight. But uh, Black Cat is amazing here. And again, yes, Iron Man Infinity War can be immune if he gets his armor up. But the key is going to be that he doesn't. <laughs> so here we're basically just pushing again to my level 2. That's the only thing. Only thing that I want to do was punish one heavy attack. Get that card on myself. So at this point he had no armor ups. Because even with our basic combo building. We are reducing opponent's ability accuracy. And now at this point. He has zero chance to gain an armor up. As we are striking him. That also means that there is absolutely no bleed immunity. And uh, we are just trying to be as aggressive as possible. Push him to a level 2. So I'm going to drop like my level 1 here. We can see that. His health is absolutely melting. And I'm actually pushing him into three bars of power because I knew that I'm going to be dropping a level one. His armor ups do not trigger when he reaches 15% health. And we just nuked him down. And uh, that was Black Hat against uh, rank three Iron Man Infinity War uh, in 53 seconds. And that's again like a rank four, four star Black Hat. So I hope that this video has kind of opened some people's opinions and eyes towards Black Cat. Honestly, everything you saw initially from those CCP videos of this is how you play Black Cat, stuff like that, it, it just damaged my own desire to play Black Cat and opinion of Black Cat. Because you want to do none of it. You just want to build up your level 2s and you just want to basically throw your level 2s and that's it. Make sure calling card is on yourself, because then you're going to be inflicting the sabotage debuff, and then after one level 2, you completely shut down all opponent's abilities, and you can pause your bleeds, and you deal a burst of damage, and it just works. And uh, that is it. Black Cat's much, much, much more simple than many people think. Just, again, forget all of that special heavy attack punish and spamming heavy attacks and all that other bullshit. Just build up to your level 2s, throw your level 2s, and watch magical things happen. Hope you guys found this video useful. And I'm going to see you later. Bye. Hello there guys. And welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about the next.